Hey guys, PsycheKHD here again with another video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to turn off uh, the parallax effect on your iPhone, uh, iPod Touch or iPad running iOS 7. Uh, now I'm just going to turn it on and then let you guys uh, check out what parallax is for those of you who don't know uh, and you may want to turn this feature off. Now as you guys can see here uh, in the background, uh, when I move my phone around you can kind of see that the wallpaper uh, moves along at the back with it and you're like, uh, if you uh, for example you guys are like me and you have a spur, uh, a particular setup in mind where you have a wallpaper that is suited to the icons on your home screen uh, and the way that your device is actually set up uh, then this is, could be fairly annoying now sometimes this does uh, really look nice on my device and I do really enjoy having it there but other times I do wish that it was uh, I could turn it off and there is actually a way of turning this off for those of you who don't know and I actually did get a couple questions uh, regarding how to turn this off on Twitter uh, and on Facebook from a couple of my Facebook friends so I decided to make this video now this is actually very very simple and today I'm going to be showing you how to do it it just requires a couple steps and it doesn't require any sort of special um, like going into your devices uh, firmware settings because that is actually one of the there was a way of doing that through going like SSHing into your phone and trying to do that through like iFunbox I saw one tutorial online but it is actually very very simple it's a very simple easy process so let's uh, go ahead and show you guys how to do that so what you guys would uh, are gonna have to do is open up settings on your um, iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, and you're gonna come down to general, which uh, is where the majority of your settings are gonna take place either way. So you come over here to general, uh, and then you come down to accessibility. It's very simple, and then of course you just come down here to reduce motion. Now reduce motion by default will be off, uh, and you guys can see it says uh, it reduces the motion of the user interface, including the parallax effect of icons and alerts. So what you do now is actually turn this on, uh, and you're essentially done. Your wallpaper will no longer move around in the background. Now, uh, I do believe that this does help to conserve some battery life as well. So if you guys are facing trouble with your battery life, I would suggest turning this off uh, if you don't really need it for it that much. Uh, but if you guys do need it, I mean, honestly, it's not going to sacrifice too much. Uh, and sometimes it does actually look pretty nice. But for those of you who have a particular setup in mind and don't want it to move, this is how to turn off the parallax effect. Now, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, it would be awesome if you guys could leave it a like rating by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of this video. And if you guys enjoyed this style of video where I just sit down with my phone and talk to you, um, and I do enjoy making these types of videos, I've seen them have a lot of success on YouTube, do let me know with a comment down there in the comment section, and I will make more of these style of videos. So again guys, thank you very much for watching, uh, for more do remember to subscribe, and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.